Hello everybody, my name is Derek and today is the 3rd of February. In this video I'm going to talk about education, then I'll follow it up with critical thinking and finish it off on war and terrorism. President Barack Obama has been in the news a lot recently. He had the State of the Union address. I've already uh, talked about uh, those words that were spoken. And uh, today I seen on Citizen Tube that he happened to have uh, addressed uh, YouTubers' uh, comments and videos. If I hadn't known that this was going on, I most certainly would have made a nice uh, 20 to 30 second video, probably regarding uh, money, debt, interest, fiat, currency, you know, the type of stuff that I talk about all the time. But even if I did, I mean, what's the chances that it would have been put on that uh, program? And I'm not saying that because there's just so many people that they can only choose so many, but because it seems as if they don't want to address the key topics. Because when I originally put the program on, I was expecting that I would hear these types of issues being talked about. And a couple seconds later, it was downgraded from expecting it to happen to hoping it would happen. And no, I mean, maybe the last seven or eight minutes of the 36, 35 minute documentary or speech has it. I don't know. I watched uh, up until then. And I'm expecting that it didn't have anything out of the ordinary on it. So if, and there was, any amazing question within the last six or seven minutes on the link and you know about it, please let me know. But uh, Mr. Barack Obama talked about education and uh, I want to read uh, some of the stuff that he said. So quote, I think there's a huge economic component to being well educated. We know if you are a college graduate, you will make multiples to if you are a high school graduate and quote. Well, I'm a college graduate, so uh, did I make multiples uh, from a high school graduate? We'll assume that high school graduates get minimum wage, just to make the, uh, the comparisons very easy. When I finally got a job within my field that I enjoyed that I knew not everybody or not many people could even do, I was getting like... Well, started to be like eight bucks an hour, ended at nine bucks an hour, and minimum wage went from like six fifty to seven and a quarter during that time. So, did I make a uh, heck of a lot of money? Like, I don't even know if minimum wage was like seven fifty. I don't remember, but uh, if it was multiple times more, I guess the multiple would be like one point one or one point two times more. Yeah, that's definitely a heck of a lot more money. But instead. Uh, I had no choice but to exit that position, thus risking my health in a factory labor position because it paid so much more. Yeah, I mean, that didn't work out either. Moving on, I'll uh, read more from what he had to say. Quote, it's uh, absolutely true that a high quality education is not just a matter of being a good worker. It's also a matter of being a good citizen. It's also a matter to be able to think critically, evaluate the world around you, make sure you can process all the information that is coming at us that helps you make decisions about your own life, but also helps you participate in the life of the country. I'm a big believer that a kid is to learn how to learn and think. What can I say? I agree with a lot of what you said there. Uh, but I don't agree if you really mean it because you want us to think critically and all this sort of mumbo jumbo. And myself, I learned how to think critically when I had my wake up call of reality and I thus educated myself via the internet instead of paying oh, thousands for education and putting myself in massive debt. Instead, you just got a small internet connection fee that uh, is very, very affordable. However, uh, because of my critical thinking, that's why I've been able to come here on YouTube and discuss what it seems is uh, fairly evident. Uh, I mean, critical thinking helps us understand how money is created and how the monetary system works. Uh, maybe they would teach that stuff in economics. After all, I only took one class of economics. 
Maybe if I would have minored or majored in that, I might have figured out more. But then I think to myself, I guess all of these economic experts that we hear on the mainstream media, well, if they've been getting it wrong, then maybe I would have been getting it wrong if I would have took a degree in economics. After all, then I'd be saying gold's in a bubble right now, because that's the type of stuff I guess they teach you there. Meaning they misteach you how the monetary system works. At least I only believe to this date that economy classes still don't get to the ground core of how economics truly, truly works. And uh, yeah, when I get all this information, trying to process it with graphs and charts and writing stuff down and comparisons and so many different methods, it's, it's a very difficult process. Question is, did I learn how to do this in college? And my guess is not really. I think I learned a lot of it, as you said, as a child to be able to do this type of thing. So if you want kids to be able to learn and think as a kid, how come I haven't heard you talk much at all about Ritalin and how it's used to dumb the children down and all this type of stuff and the foods that we are giving and come on, there's got to be a problem within the education system when we have seen the Americans just go whoosh on the rankings for education. He then followed up uh, by talking about war, Al-Qaeda, why, why it's just so necessary. And I'm going to use my critical thinking here because last night I was doing some more research on September 11th and critical thinking has helped me and many other people figure out that 911 has a major evidence chance of being an inside job. But I wanted to think what happens if it was an outside job? Uh, does it all make sense on a critical level? Well, let's see here. Apparently, at the start of 2001, it was pretty known that America had one of the best military defenses of the world. And if that's the case, then it means it would be very difficult for someone to do a major attack on American soil. And if 911 is not a major attack, then, ouch, major is pretty big. Nonetheless. Donald Rumsfeld uh, was uh, the uh, defense, he's got a name, I should remember it off the top of my head, but he's the top, one of the top guys at the time for military defense. And if uh, they were so good and he inherited such an amazing job, how did he let this happen? And how did he not get fired after it did happen? After all, shouldn't he have been responsible for it? And critically thinking, uh, using critical thinking, if, uh, yeah, let's just say that you knew it was Osama bin Laden who'd done it hours after advance and you were that smart, yet you weren't smart enough to stop it from happening, then why did Mr. Rumsfeld keep his job? Why did, why was there no issues amongst how the defense was done? It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But you were mentioning how the Al-Qaeda members are just so evil and how really it sounds like you want to bring democracy to their countries because of the terrorism that's going within their own organization. Let's take a look at the terrorism within our own organization and how, quite frankly, this needs to come to an end. And this all leads down to a fraudulent monetary system. And I really want to use fraudulent because I think we could have a monetary system that would not be evil or negative or one that makes many people suffer. Many people stress over money. There's many divorces because of it. Many people hit rock bottom because they are unable to get the jobs that we're talking about. After all, we are debt slaves to the system. If you don't have a job or with our means of making money, then you are going to be low bottom barrel of, of our country. And that's pretty unfortunate. And I talk about a fraudulent monetary system because we loan money, we get debt, no one can pay the debt off because of how it's guaranteed. We have a fiat money system not backed by gold and silver so we can't produce our own resources this way. And this isn't terrorism. That's all I got. Thank you for watching this video. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.